Well, hello there, teachers, homeschool parents. I have another Google Slides for you. It's called Build a Butterfly. So um, this is great because what we are doing online is we are all ordering little cages and our caterpillars. Um, and you can get it off of Amazon, anywhere. Um, it's called the the butterfly garden kit if you want to do that as well and we are learning about butterflies so each child is buying their own little cage of course optional <laughs> um, and we are all going to watch our butterflies mm, our caterpillars metamorphosize into a butterfly so it's going to be great it's very exciting so what I have done is I have created this build a butterfly Google slides to go with our activity and whatever activity that you're doing in class or if you're just simply learning about butterflies you can use this Google slides as well so let me just walk you through this tutorial of course we just have the title directions I try to keep it similar to all my other Google slides um, all my other build a noun Google Slides or an object or an insect Google Slides. That way the kids are familiar with the process. You don't want to have to keep re-explaining how to do each and every slide that they are building and writing about. So um, that's why I keep the directions the same and I keep the title, um, title page the same so they could be familiar with it. Next, I actually incorporated facts about a butterfly. You can click on um, the watch the butterfly video and they can watch a video. You can always change this out. So when you see the blue outline box, for those of you who may not know, you can change it out to any video that you like. I just use this video. I try to choose videos that do not have ads on them. So that's the one I did choose for this slide. Um, the next slide is true and false. So we're learning about true, false, facts, informational text. So this is just a good way for them to practice um, about what is true, what is false, fiction, nonfiction, that kind of thing. So of course, they just simply slide the answer over to the right area. Very easy, very easy, okay? Next is the fun part for them. They can build their butterfly um, and it's okay. You really want to try to teach them to place the body first and the antenna maybe. I mean, you don't have to teach them, but this is the easiest way to build it, but they'll figure it out. And the big wings go, yeah, they're having so much fun. And the kids actually love these build. Uh, these build slides, these build Google slides, they actually love it. So because they end up doing um, their own thing, I actually put some setting elements in here as well, so they can they can pretty much do whatever they like. They can even duplicate it. So you can click on here, copy and paste. Well, not them, but you can if you want to add more bees, add more flowers, add more birds to this section. You can do that. So anytime you can slide over an object you can also um, include your own flowers you can even go to insert image search web and add more elements you can delete what I have and put the elements that you like for um, the setting so that's cool too so you can add to this or redesign it okay so let me just go ahead and put everything back for video's sake okay every after that um, they will be able to see the answer key so for those of so you can actually show them this answer key first if you like doesn't matter and then they can go ahead and try to build the butterfly themselves of course I love incorporating writing reading and writing is very important to me if you can't read you're not gonna be able to function in the world at all you have to read everything and be able to write so um, I always include some type of writing to go along with this build lesson and lastly enjoy okay enjoy and please remember that this is not intended for selling purposes but for you to um, engage your learners and have a fun way to make learning fun for your group of learners in your class or at your homeschooling environment until next time 
please like, share, please share with other teachers and subscribe to um, the channel. Goodbye.